Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. I'm Dr. Willa Jolly. This is my beautiful bride. Me. <laughs> D. Uh, uh, With silver hair tonight. And it's beautiful silver hair. Uh, for those <laughs> who, might, <laughs> who might be joining us for the first time, we the authors of the book, Make Love, Make Money, Make Money, Make It Last, 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. And we want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. Um, and we are grateful for each and every one of you, wherever you may be. All right, let's get it on. What happens when one of the emails we get when one spouse said, my husband doesn't help with any of the chores, but, but my husband cooks. he does the cooking. Mm. And I want him to do it. So my Two wife more. and I talked, we responded differently to this lady. And I said, well, he might have some gender roles that are really deep seated that that he can cook. Maybe, you know, chefs, many chefs of men. But he felt that from wherever he came from, that cleaning up was a woman's work. OK, I don't know if that's true. Oh, Bernice Fly Girl Armour is with us tonight. Hey. Hey, thank you, Bernice. I appreciate it. I've been, you know, toiling in the, in the vineyard, and so thank you. But anyway, I hope the baby's well. So look, so this is a, a point we want to talk about. Well, what do you do when one spouse is uh, is feeling it that uh, is feeling that some some kind of way? What was that new phrase? They feel it. They in the feeling. They in the feeling. They in the feeling or feeling some kind of way mm -hmm. about the spouse who won't do the mm -hmm. chores, but will cook. That is something we're talking about. And here's the statistic. You know, my wife is a statistic uh, lady. Uh, Terrence said they just need some chicken. <laughs> they can get it from Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. So give the research. Here's the research. Very interesting research. Very interesting. So Pew, P-E-W Research Center, seems to do millions of, of, of research related to relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we had a difference of opinion just in terms of how we analyzed the question because we didn't talk, actually talk to this person. No, we didn't so, talk so, to him. So we've got basic assumptions. So when I saw it, I thought, oh, he's cooking. Get a maid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I immediately went to that. I'm happy for whatever you do, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But as I did some research and how it changes over time. So in 07, the Pew Research Center polled like 2000, 29 couples, something like that. And 62% of adults said that sharing household chores is very important to marital success. Wow. I would not have thought that. Wow. 62%. 62%. That was in 2007. But by the time we got to 2017, it has slightly changed to only 56% of adults in the United States ranked sharing household responsibilities as being among the top three issues. Mm. So do you think it's because the views are, are simply changing over time yeah. as there are more females in the workforce yeah. and the kind of jobs that we have, the careers that we have tend to be more on the same level than they were when the, the man was traditionally the breadwinner and the woman dealt with more but even in both of that. those, one more statistic I read was that even with those who do share, women still do twice as much. Yeah, they do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, you know. The men did have a longer work, statistically, longer work day as on average, just on average. But I think it depends upon the field that the person is of in. Of course it does. Of course it does. But I'm just saying, on average, that was the statistic, men then, on average. Okay. But I huh. think you will find that it continues to change as we get more recent. And the last statistics were from 2017. I'm just looking at the color of your hair today. <laughs> it's blue and gray. Well, whatever. Every it's week. I don't, I, I don't. Sometimes when she comes down to the, I, I, I'm, I'm putting stuff together and I have to stop and say, Lord, have mercy. There's always something new it's with my. Keep the excitement alive. So yeah, it anyway, does. Yeah, it does. So, anyway. So, it's a major issue. Household chores. Why don't you just get a maid? Okay, that was where she went. She went was, right I to. I went immediately. Oh, housekeeping. When our kids were here, they were the maid. The maid. Maids. <laughs> right. They had to clean up their rooms. Yeah. 
because once you inject children, it's even it becomes even more of an issue. Right. 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 So they are. Here's the what you're really so, saying. Here's what you're really saying. They are options beyond argument, which goes yes. right to our concept of don't fight each other. Fight the problem. Attack the problem together. So the problem here is beds unmade, clothes everywhere, maybe the dishes in the sink. You didn't have to cook, but the dishes in the sink and these things bother me. But then I took it a step back to say, you know what? A lot of this depends upon how you are hardwired. Mm, absolutely. In terms of your personality or in terms of what, what's that other word? In terms of your basic temperament, temperament, what you come into the world with that annoys you. Right. Like I'm totally anal. Yep. And you you can he can cook after the pandemic. He he does his I learned to cook his, during the pandemic. Well, you cook years ago. Omelets. Yeah, but I know he cooked yeah. years ago and it was oh my god. So so it was a matter of oh sweetheart, thank you so much. And then inside I was thinking my son liked my Korean kitchen. Your, cooking your, your kitchen. son just loves you and wants to encourage you. I didn't say it was terrible, but it did not matter to me if you didn't cook because it was often not done on the inside. But I did not say, oh my god, that's terrible. It's not done. You know, we suffered through because the goal was to encourage. And there's a word that I from somewhere that I read. It's, it's this fancy word intellectual use that's called maledictive communication. Isn't that fancy? Maledictive. maledictive communication. What's that? And that simply refers to when you criticize somebody. Oh, you, you cook, but the chicken wasn't done to the bone. The bone was still red, right? Mm -hmm. And and then the other person that who did the cooking and the like, they're, they're like, mm. You didn't appreciate what I did. Right. And sometimes they don't say anything, but they tend to withdraw. Uh, so, yeah, so yeah. I would, we, hold, we would say is something. the primary issue. We would talk about it nicely, but we would say, wasn't, you know, that we have to have confidence. Well, uh, first of all, I compliment. You even, even years ago, before I was as communicative as I am now, the fact that you would put forth the effort and say you want to cook. Right. Because I would do the basic cooking. Yes. I would get home before you. Yeah. And I would do two things. We either have spaghetti or we'd have lasagna. That, that was it. And a salad. Because that's what we could afford. We had two kids in private school. We had no extra money. And we had no was money. It. No. Yeah, we, 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 we never ate out. We never, never. Once in a while, we'd get some Popeye's chicken. That was it. Once or checkers. Day. Checkers. On Sunday. On Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so. The overriding theme is learn how to fight the problem and not each other yeah that's so really with the communication theme. problem of he cooks but doesn't help me clean well you got to talk about it yes the problem is the chaos in the household maybe he doesn't see it maybe he doesn't see it i now that, let's go there me often d will say something about something out of place i said i didn't even notice mm -hmm. I don't see it. I literally don't see it. Now, I grew up in a house where my mother was a pack rat, okay? She was a pack rat. She was the sweetest person you would ever want to meet, it but is. she was a pack rat. And uh, she, there was stuff everywhere. And we just, after a while, you get used to stuff everywhere, so you don't see. So we make a joke. We, I had to develop a sense of humor. I didn't have that. My father was, was a five brimstone pastor, and so... I had to learn how to choose my words so that they weren't hurt, hurtful. Right. For example, he really doesn't put things away. We have closet space, but he doesn't put stuff away. Why do I need to put it away? I'm just going to use it again. Oh, my God. That, that, that's just like the concept <laughs> of what I make of the bed. We, we, we went through that for a while. And then I had to figure out how to reward him for making up the bed because that was so important to me. Yes. But putting things away is a foreign concept to him. It just is. So I had to be willing to work around that. Yes. When I say work around it, so I try to say, honey, this is in the middle of the floor. Oh, well, okay. It'll be right there when I use it again. Oh, my God. He really doesn't see it. So, so what do we need to do? Anybody with me here? Anybody with me here? I like, uh -oh, you know what? <laughs>
when we first got married, I cut the grass and I had a lawnmower and I'm doing the, We had to. A Harry homeowner, but I made more money. I said, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got to make a decision here. Where is my time best spent? I can hire somebody for twenty dollars an hour. And we had or I can make two hundred dollars an hour, even going to consulting on years ago. So we had a conversation about that. So okay. So initially, we did not jump from you're not doing it to having a gardener for a short period of time. I did it yeah. because I like the yard work, and he he really did not like that. Right. No. So then once I'm like, you know what, this grass cutting is taking up too much time. So then I got rid of the grass. Yeah. And, and ended up with rye peas and plants and everything everywhere. And then I got a, a beautiful garden. Beautiful garden, garden, by the way. Her yard. And then I got, and then I got a garden. And it's really beautiful. People and then talk about with, her with, yard. With, with, with the housework, you said, well, you never really, you don't really do us to do anything like that. After the children left, after our, our maids left the house, then it was, oh, well, who's going to clean the bathroom? Well, that was during, to, during COVID. You know, she shut it down during COVID. She, we, we, we had, had a housekeeper. We had a housekeeper. Had... She shut it down. She said, hey, nobody But you know in. what? I put that in the budget. Yeah. I'd rather not eat and have the clean house. Now, we have a difference of opinion. <laughs> Here we go. Dis I call that displacement. <laughs> now, it's not like we don't have the money. It's just, oh, no, but I don't want to put it there. I put it over here. I said, oh, but we talk it. We do that, talk it. That, that's the key. I, I like and what I Deborah says. says. Deborah says, I cook. He cleans the dishes partnership okay and y'all want that time together yeah 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 now we, we we make up the bed well i make up my side after she's gone but we'll do the the, well, the we sheets can, we change the linen the linens and we'll do, we it, do together. it together and things like that mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. all right so the code so the, those things those uh the, the different ones that are the reasons all right all right they, okay so reasons why people break up or problems uh, you'll be shocked at what they are Okay. Um, when you okay, so people stay together when they're able to communicate Correct. effectively, right? Yep, so we yep. dealt with that. Um, when they have shared interests. Yeah, yeah. Sixty-four percent of those surveyed, according to the Pew Research Center, when they have shared interests. One. Satisfying sex is number two. And then your um ability to effectively uh communicate with the chores is number three isn't that interesting yeah it is it is and so the ones that break people up are number one was uh, uh sexual um no shared interest no 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 when they break them up was um uh, being unfaithful okay second was uh that they don't have shared interests and then the, the third one was this uh, one about household chores. You would think it would be something bigger than that. But it, 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 it infidelity. Infidelity. That's the word I was looking for. Infidelity, mm -hmm. then lack of shared interest, mm -hmm. and then this whole thing about household chores. And mm -hmm. so that that when when this came to us, this letter, if remember folks, you can send email. us an email. I keep saying letter. I know. Email. Well, it's a, a letter by email. When you want us, if you have an issue, we don't ever call your name, but we do discuss it and give our thoughts on it or our perspective. Info at willyjolly.com. Info. Now, what do you have number two, but can't agree on number one? What's what's number? I don't know what, what that means, Deborah. What if you have number two? Because oh, uh, I don't know what that means, Deborah. What do you mean by that? What do you have number two, but can't agree on number one? Please put that in the chat. But what the item is. So, so what is the item with number two that you're referring to? Make sure we're on the same page. And then, um, so how do we? So, so while she's putting that in the chat, suggestions on your communication. Got to communicate, folks. And and so 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 we're we're focused on fighting the the issue and not each other. That's right. Getting on the same page. Get right? on the same page. So how do you do that? Issue, how, not how you first of all, how you talk to each other. That's right. And that's a whole nother issue. Oh, oh talk about the lady what? who <laughs> said he should have known. He should have known. Oh, oh, oh so and, uh, something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody sent in. Okay, number one. Oh, she said number two is sexual relations. What if oh. you have number two? Great sex, but can't agree on number one. It was shared. Well, uh, uh, what was that? Shared. Uh, you know what? Uh, that's a good question. Go back to the shared thing. Shared thing. Sh uh, shared interest. When you don't have. Now she's saying that great 
sex sex is good. Mm -hmm. It's the shared interest. Here's where you mm -hmm. here's where where our pastor John J., J., John K Jenkins says he said for years he and his wife had different interests. He said he learned though that it was better when they started sharing interests. So he got interested in flying planes. She would go with him flying. She was scared to death. Did not inter wasn't interested, but she did it. He therefore realized that she liked H. HGTV, TV. and he started like watching HGTV with her. And and, and, and what patients. happened was there was a give and take. I'll do a little bit of yours, you do a little bit of mine, and we start to learn new interests. It's like music appreciation when you're in, 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 in high school or college or junior high school sometimes, and they play opera, and you've never heard of opera, but the more you hear it, the more you like it. I like, uh, uh, what's my, da 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 I like uh, and uh, Nessim Dorma. Nessim Dorma. I love Nessim Dorma. Yes. But I, of course, I got appreciation. Okay? So uh, we want you to work on that. Share that interest. has to be because you care about being involved I, I, with that I, I, She person. said there was no give and take. This is, again, going back to communication. Yeah. This is going back to communication. Here's how that makes me feel. Four Fs. I hope you got the book. The four F formula in the mm. book we talk about. Be friendly. Here's something that's here on my mind. Be frank about but your feelings. But I wonder why. Well, what, what if you don't? You, no, you don't. You cannot tell why. Do not. Why can't we ask? Why but we don't. She ask? don't know why. That was. She didn't ask him. Yeah, but that's that's that, let's get to. Well, that was part of the four Fs. Be friendly. Be frank about your feelings. This is how many times that make, make behavior or lack of interest makes on me feel. his part makes related me. to you makes you feel. Be fair. That's when you get to why do you not want to do some of the things? Oh, well, I, I don't like it. Well, why won't you try? And listen. Don't just listen. Then focus. Be friendly. Be frank about your feelings. Be fair. Be focused on a win-win. Or find something new that you can do Or together. something new. That's another one. Mm -hmm. Find something new that y'all can do together, like yoga, maybe, or exercise, or, or so. Communication often happens as a blow up. Oh, oh no, it shouldn't do that. That shouldn't happen. So that's a, a, a matter of miscommunication, and and because y'all have been repressing or stonewalling or not talking. So you got to change your pattern. Patterns need to change again. The, that we give away the communication chapter in the book. Go to Jolly Man. We give that biggest chapter in the book, most powerful chapter. We give it away because we want people to use it. Here's how you get your hubby to read that chapter. I heard the Jollies. I watched them last night. I thought their their concepts were interesting. I love your opinion on this chapter. Hmm. That the only reason he stonewalls because he doesn't. He, that's his 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 paradigm. He doesn't know how much better it is when you get past that. That's all. So this is a process. Dee was not openly communicative in the sense of some of her feelings when we first got. And it just took time. Okay, we would talk. Okay, don't give up. Okay, don't give up. But I, I would say also that each person has to. I, I'm. I was less communicative than Willie. Yes. Willie is very affectionate. Surely my mama shut that door. Like Peppy and Pew the scar, right? <laughs> that was good. So I was I didn't know you knew who Peppy and Pew was. Uh -huh. I surprised you all the time. I'm shocked. <laughs> and 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 I had to work on I think things, but I would not say it. Mm. And I had to work on changing my habits mm. little bit at a time yes to say he says i love you all the time i had to learn it i loved him but i had to learn to articulate and it's changing of habits and it's one little thing at a time that's right you can think it but you also have to be able to say it Correct. and that comes with Doing it one little habit change at a time. So maybe it's something as simple as a post-it and saying, I love you and putting it on the pillow. Maybe. Put or it. sometimes, look, look what I got the other day. It'll come up backwards on that, won't it? 
Uh, this this was from the dollar store, and I could com not compliment each other. Compliment each other. Dress up. Foot rub, Slow back rub, hold down. hands, kiss. You know, there's so Movie many night. little ways Hug. to change the dynamics. And Good. sometimes not being able to say it because you've never really Cooked done together. that. Compliment each other. Slow dance. These were a dollar. Game little night. cubes at the dollar. At Dollar Tree. Is that what was that? Dollar, Dollar Tree. At, at Dollar Tree. And I'm like, oh, this is so cute. That is cute. A foot rub. And they're like, you do a foot rub. Oh, yeah, they're doing a foot rub. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And this one Start just says kiss. Feet. Yeah. Start. Or it just says kiss. You know, if you if you're not used to doing it, it's awkward. Yeah. That's what you need the, a little oh, bit. Oh my help. look, like the couple we we had lunch with. They 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 got on our schedule. It took months for us to get on their schedule for lunch. Them farmers and friends of farmers. And we told them, <laughs> hold hands. Now they had had they had, had some real problems in their marriage. So they thought holding hands. It's awkward at first. And they both said afterward, they walked down and we, we, we saw them walking out and said, hold hands. And we saw them. Because you're not used to reaching out. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like sometimes I walk, if I've got heels on, I'm walking slower than he is. Yeah. 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 He's got his hand out. I'm like, I got heels on. Because <laughs> we hold hands all the time. Okay. <laughs> Slow down. So hold hands, be kind, work on your new, new paradigms. You have to consciously decide one thing to do yeah yeah hey brand we'll new year with a Susan Smallwood. hi sweetie pie i'm wearing my lifetime achievement award i got friday night susan so it's grand it's grand it's grand 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 grandosity grandosity yeah. with susan smallwood where are you are you back in florida or are you here in dc so uh folks these are lessons that i hope this person who wrote us is, is listening one Let's go through here some All right, here, go, go ahead. We want to give them suggestions All before right. we go. Okay, okay, we've got a minute left. Okay, so we talked about the communication. Um, that Number one, we're going to focus on, we got to talk to each other, right? Mm -hmm. And the communication, and some of that is touching, holding hands. Sometimes you got to write it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you're not used to doing it. Right. Number two, we say, what do you hate doing? Mm -hmm. Do you have a hate doing? Let's stop doing this. You say, what do you? I hate, what, what do I hate? I hate, you know, well, hate my, you know, what do I don't want to do around the house? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, you said, you know what? Yard work, I don't get it. I'll do it. I don't, I'm not watering plants. Nope. I'm not cleaning the bathrooms. Right. That's not me. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not going to nag him about that. So now I got to figure out some, we'll figure out another way to handle it. Let's talk about it. Yeah. I said, I don't want to do that. Let's find somebody to do it. I don't want to do it. Let's get a housekeeper. Can Let's get a gardener. There you go. Get a kid down the street to do right. the garden. Get Tony. Right. I, I, I got Tony. So we have a variety of people. Yeah. Here. Okay. So so we've got, you got to talk about it, number mm -hmm. one. We are going to have a stop doing list. No, what do you hate doing? Right. Okay. Now that we know with the parameters, now how do we get it done since individual, we don't want to do it. Agree when the job is to be complete. You know, if you say, you know what? Every week we'll change the sheets. Right. Every week I'll change the sheets. Or every two weeks we'll have the gardener. Right. Right. Agree as to what your time frame is. This one I really like. Hire somebody. Hire somebody. All I right. love that. Hire somebody. Do it. Which is a whole nother issue because you're dealing with budget issues. Right. Okay. And then I said evaluate what you've been doing. Rinse and repeat weekly or bi-weekly or monthly or however how often it is that you're going to do what needs to be done. Look, here's very important. We have not had an argument in over 35 years. We do not always agree, but we've learned to attack the problem, not each other. And we do that as part of our system now. So we might have some issue that we've got to deal with. We talk about it. Let's attack the problem. Let's just deal with the problem, not attack each other. Because this problem is not that important in a long sense of thing, uh, according uh, in, in comparison to our relationship and how much fun it is so to be around each other with no drama. It's better together. It's better together. We have an assembly. Health-wise. Don't say when, because I'm still working she on it. She goes, we're having an a event. It's better together. Ooh. So better together yeah. in terms of your 
longevity of your of your life yeah in terms of your financial health and and we're not so your health your wealth it's better together yes it's better together it's better together thank y'all that was my grandson caller because we told him don't call before 9 30 he called it 9 31 because he calls once a week to let us know he's alive and we're doing okay so look we want to thank everybody for your time uh ig thank y'all for holding on while we got it all good and it's good hey look a couple things one uh again thank you all for your nice comments about my uh uh lifetime achievement award volunteer service award from the president presidential award. I'm very honored to be part of a great uh, class of people who were uh, inducted or received or recognized. Uh, second, we still have, uh, this might be for some of the people who are on tonight, our marriage repair series. It's really a great program. We did it in June of last year. It's 11 year. parts, so you can go get Not this. Not 11, it's, it's five parts, five parts, with a sixth bonus. It's okay. part, communication, sex and, and romance, money, family matters, and then blended families. And then how to deal with that. The, the, and then the fifth one, is, the sixth one is the 11 biggest mistakes people make in their marriage and how okay. to fix them. That's okay. what you mentioned. Okay. So go get that at jollymarriage.com slash events. jollymarriage.com slash events. I highly recommend you invest in that. Save your, your uh your, your, your marriage, a lot of drama. And then we're going to have this Better Together. Just send us an email. I'm interested in the Better Together uh, event that will be coming up. And last but not least, make sure you get the two books, the two workbooks, and the audio book bundle. It will save you a lot cheaper than going to the divorce lawyer. But whatever you get, you actually have, have to, to use, implement. Use it. Read it. That is where the work comes in. Because we do have people who, from last weekend, oh, I got the book. Oh. One's reading it, and the, and the other, other one is sitting not. on the shelf. You know, it, it doesn't work that way. Or get the audio book. Get the audio or book. Or you can do audio. And then you have to listen together, okay, and take notes. But thank you. You can download it too, right? Yes, you can. It's all digital now. Everything's digital. Everything's digital. We are coming hard to try and save a million marriages, enhance a million marriages while we do this marriage show every week. We got it on YouTube. We got it on social media. We got it everywhere we can. And we're going to take it to television so you can get it there. Look, our time is up. I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for all for the people, joining us. For all the people who join us, our weekly, our regulars, and our newbies. I want to thank you all. We really appreciate you. Share this with everybody you know. Please do, because we want to empower and inspire millions. This is Dr. Willie Jolly. And this is me. And I'm me. the Hall. I'm now not just Hall of Fame speaker, but now I'm very proud of the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award, where y'all got to see my acceptance speech. It's on the social media where I shout out my baby girl, my bride. And all the people were excited about that. Hey, we out. Our time is over. This is Willie Jolly. The Taylor Jolly. Jolly out. Let's go with my music on the way out. There you go. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.